anyone that's having that question within their own life, like, am I coming across as arrogant or am I coming across as confident really needs to boil that down to does this person that I'm sitting across from right now, does this person that's listening to my, me right now, does this person that I'm interacting with, do they know my intent or not? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! This is episode 135 of the Sales Wolves podcast, and uh, I'm going to come at you with a with a quick one, but an important one, and that is arrogance versus confidence. And the way I want to start out this conversation is on the basis of intent, because really it's the intent that will determine whether or not you're a confident person or an arrogant person. But other people don't always know your intent, right? So when another person sees you as being confident or arrogant, it's based on their opinion on the things that you're doing, the way you're talking, um, the way you carry yourself, because they may not know your intent. And so what they see as arrogance really may just be confidence. And so I think an important factor of determining between or distinguishing between or being one or the other is going to be in letting people around you know the intent that you have behind the things that you're doing. And so like myself, like I'm a very confident person. I haven't always been that way, but I can tell you right now I'm at my most confident that I've ever been, but I can clearly see how that can be perceived as arrogance from someone that doesn't know me. And by doesn't know me, I mean, doesn't know my heart, doesn't know the intent behind the confidence, doesn't know what I'm, actively pursuing with that confidence and the things that I'm trying to achieve with that confidence, it could come across as arrogant. I mean, if you took a random 30 second clip of any video of, uh, that I've done, I can certainly understand why someone would say that I was an arrogant person because in that 30 second clip, they're not getting to know who I really am and they don't get to know the intent behind what they're seeing as arrogance, but ultimately is, is just confidence. And so I think, Anyone that's having this question, and this is a question that I got one time on a live Q and a, which really, you know, created this idea of this topic of this sales Wolves podcast, anyone that's having that question within their own life, like, am I coming across as arrogant or am I coming across as confident really needs to boil that down to does this person that I'm sitting across from right now, does this person that's listening to my, me right now, does this person that I'm interacting with do they know my intent or not? And if they don't, why? And if they don't, how can I get that across to them? How can I convey to them what the intent, what my intent is in the level of confidence that I have in what I'm doing right now in the level of confidence that, that I have in the conversation that we're having right now, I'm extremely confident when I talk about things that I know I'm extremely confident when I'm talking about things that I'm passionate about not so much in the things that I don't know and the things that I'm not passionate about. And so when I'm in conversations with people, random people, friends, family, but people that maybe I don't even know when I'm talking about something I'm passionate about, when I'm talking about something that I know like the back of my hand, it's always going to come across way more confident. And at times that can seem arrogant unless you are communicating in a way that shows your intent through your language that shows the heart behind why you're so passionate about those things or why, you know, so much about that topic. If we're talking about, you know, working out, I can sit here and, and talk all about the things that I know about working out, but until I talk about the heart behind it and the intent behind it, that you know, I want people to figure out the way that works out best for them with their fitness and their workout routines and their nutrition, or, you know, the fact that, you know, my 
you know, confidence in working out and talking about working out comes from this belief that I have that it carries over into all the other areas of my life and my relationships and that, you know, I want to be the strongest man that I can be for my wife. And I want to be here, you know, for a long time so that I can spend that time with my daughter and I can be here, you know, longer and, and have a longer life with her. And, it's weaving in that it's that intent is that the heart behind those things that weaved into that conversation will turn that person from perceiving you as arrogant to just, Oh, this is just a confident person because man, they know what they're talking about. And man, they're passionate about this thing and it flips the script. And so I would challenge you guys to audit your conversations audit the interactions that you're having with other people and truly take audit of how are they being, how how am I being perceived? A lot of times the way you're actually being perceived is different than the way you may think you're being perceived, but start taking close note to how people are reacting to the things that you're saying to them, how, you know, what people are saying behind your back, what people are saying to other people about you when it comes to those areas of your life. And then getting down to how can I convey to that person the intent behind my confidence so that they don't think that I'm arrogant. And the last thing that I'll say is some people are just always going to say it's arrogance over confidence. Some people are just going to find you arrogant because they lack the confidence themselves. And so anything that they lack when they see in others, they're going to talk down about that thing. And in this conversation, that's always going to lean towards arrogance over confidence. And for those people, I don't think you need to spend that much time convincing them because you know, your intent, you know, your heart. And at the end of the day, that is what's most important. So with that, guys, this is episode 135 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah-oo!